Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. Time for the first tournament video of 2021. Now this is a, a club that I've never fished before. It's the Anvil Jaw Bass Club. It's a small club here in central Arkansas. They fall under the BASS uh, Bass Nation series. So this is technically my first tournament under the Bassmaster umbrella. Just like all tournament videos, regardless of the outcome, whether I do well or I zero, you guys are still getting the uh, the video anyway. So if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button right down there along with the bell notification button so you get notified every single time I put out another video. Also, uh, after we do the tournament footage, we'll come back, I'll run through some statistics and then baits and stuff like that. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? John from Mongo Fishing. So today is uh, the first tournament of the year. Now everybody else has already launched their boats except for like one or two other boats. I have a raging headache and uh, it's not exactly how I wanted to start my morning. So it's cold outside, I got a raging headache. Um, I'm gonna wait until absolute latest I possibly can before I can launch this boat. So let's stick some lips. All right guys, so my goal today, obviously catch five, but I think if I can get 13 pounds, that's what I'm gonna shoot for. Obviously you want more than that, but I want at least 13 pounds today. I think it's going to take about 15 to 16 to win today. But I think 13 will be looking pretty good. So right now guys, I'm just kind of burning down the bank, trying to cover some bank and see if I can find a fish and what they're on. Got a nice transition coming up right here. Let's see if that does something. There we go. Oh, we just spit it. Come on, John can't have that all right guys and water temp is uh 46 46.4 all right guys you can see the water is kind of down if you look right there in those bushes there's a bunch of grass in there like it's not too far down below normal pool but you can tell that it's down from what it has been All right, guys, I have moved locations. Uh, totally different wind over here. A lot more wind over here. A lot bigger waves, that's for sure. Good God, man. I am not gonna be able to fish over here. I need to get out of this. I need to get back behind that pocket or something because this will not work. All right, guys, it is nine o'clock. My battery died again. I don't know why, that was pretty quick. Still got nothing. And I had to change my game plan up because it's actually flat out dangerous out there on the main lake right now. For me, in this little boat. So I'm having to fish in spots that I didn't want to fish. But let's see if we can make something happen. Keep fishing. There we go, guys, fish. Oh, he's not hooked very well. Oh, come on. Thank you, Lord. All right, that's one. Got the skunk off the boat. 923. All right, guys, let's move. I tell you right now, the ride back is gonna suck. See a lot of boats running around though. So that means that people probably aren't catching a lot of fish. There we go. Oh, he feels nice. Yeah, camera is on.
Fish number two. Awesome. I didn't verify if I'm allowed to use nets. Son of a bitch. I gotta make a phone call. Hey Mark, it's John Carroll, how are you? Hey, uh, something just popped in my head and I, I didn't clarify this prior to starting the tournament and so I need to make sure that I didn't violate a rule. Are nets allowed or no? Okay, good. Well then, then I feel a lot better because just now, <laughs> just now I was like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't find out if nets are allowed. Okay, outstanding. Thank you. All right, bye. There we go. Fish number three. Keep them pegged. Number three. There we go. That looks a little better. That is a little better. Nice. That's the size we need, guys. Nice. All right, guys, so the battery died when I was uh, trying to put him in the live well, but that's a good four pounder right there. That's what we really needed. So we got four fish, keep fishing. I'm getting the bites, but none of them are really, really getting it good. It's like they're changing their mind at the last minute. So if I can catch fifth fish, I might switch up and go to a different color, throw that for a while, see if that changes anything. The other day they were flat choking this thing, but it was also a sunny day. So I wonder if I need to put on like a dark color of this, like solid red. This is kind of red burn red, so it has a little gold on it. Maybe I need to go to a darker red. Hearing lots of boats running around. I'm hoping that means that lots of people aren't catching fish and that the fish that I have are gonna be sitting a little better than I thought they would. 117, just swapped out the battery again. Still sitting at four fish. Got about an hour and a half left. Check-ins at three o'clock. Keep fishing. Fish. Number five. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
All right. Got my limit. Now I need to call. There we go. Fish. It feels nice too. Okay, well there's fish six, which means I now have to do some culling. Put him up front for a second. Let's find the smallest two. White. Yellow. No doubt. Okay, still smaller. Okay, still smaller. All right, that one's gone. Okay, that took longer than I wanted. But it didn't really matter because I got the call. And that was a call of like, just ounces. All right guys, so this is what the live well looks like. But no idea where I'm supposed to weigh in at, so just kind of hanging around. All right guys, so final weight, I think they said was 1435, I think. Big fish was just shy of four pounds. It was uh, 398, I believe is what they said. Uh, I don't know, I'll close this out at the house. All right guys, so there you have it. Um, I actually did better than I thought I would. You know, I thought I had like 12 pounds or whatever and ended with 1435, which was uh, which is pretty shocking. But, you know, the way I always kind of guesstimate my weights, this shouldn't be a surprise. Um, last year during the BFL that I took fifth place in, I thought I had 12 pounds, I had 14 and change, you know. So the fact that this happened again, I thought I had, you know, 12 and had 14 and change. It uh, shouldn't be any surprise, but, you know, it was. Um, so statistic wise, there were 41 boats and uh, the winning weight was 1435. I won, which was my first like legit, you know, straight up victory ever. Um, it's pretty surprising. Uh, it took 13.12 to cash check. The big bass for the tournament was 4.21. My big bass was 3.98. And then here's some more statistics. So this is bass fishing guys. Uh, you know, 41 boats, only 10 people had limits and nine people had zeros. It, was just a grind out there. A handful of us figured them out, and then the majority of the veal didn't. It, it is what it is. That is bass fishing. My next tournament with uh, with these guys is going to be on February 27th on Lake Hamilton, but that's not my next tournament. My next tournament is February 13th back out on Lake Washita again, and that's a BFL. I may fish a tournament tomorrow out there, a little um, you know, a little throw together type derby. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm fishing that yet or not. So if I do, there'll be a video for that. If not, then my next tournament video is gonna be the, the one on February 13th. Rod, reel, and bait. Now I had to leave a little bit of this out on the video because I got into, a, into some serious like detail as to what I was doing. And I don't mind showing you guys the footage um, because there's still a large portion of that 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 uh, needed to be figured out. So rod, reel, and bait. I was throwing a loose TP1 black. Um, this is an all-purpose rod. It's not a cranking rod. Uh, line, I had 12 pound fluoro. Bait was a Spro MD50 from this unboxing right up here. 
Um, the pattern, like I said, uh, I'm leaving a large portion of that out because I, I still have a BFL on that lake and then possibly that video that's uh, or that uh, tournament tomorrow. So I'm leaving the exact pattern out because it was pretty specific. But, you know, someone may be able to pick it up watching this video. But that brings up a question. I've been thinking about doing a Patreon account and um, obviously if I had a Patreon account, this info, the exact pattern would be something that I'd be putting out on a Patreon video. So if that's something that you think may interest you, please make sure you, you uh, drop that down below because I just don't know if that's something that people would be interested in or not. Um, so let me know. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down there. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Feel free to ask any questions. Again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, get on the water, be safe, and go stick some lips.